My name is Willie, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a step pop-up. Right here is an example of a step pop-up. It uses a single sheet of paper, and it creates a cascading series of steps that use both geometry and mathematics to make. The first thing that you'll need to do to make the step pop-up is download and print out a step pop-up template. This template has a number of colored lines as well as letters and numbers to help you understand and know where to cut. So go ahead and download that, print it out, and proceed to the next step. Before I go over the first step in making the step pop-up template right here turn into the step pop-up right here, it's good to know that we've got the template with colored lines and letters over here on the left hand side. When you look at the actual finished product, you'll notice none of those lines are present. But if you flip it over and flatten it out, you'll see that there the lines are. So ultimately when you make it, as you begin to fold and cut, this will be the final product. So the first step in making the step pop up, and I'm going to move this out of the way, is to fold the step pop-up template in half. And you'll notice as I'm folding this in half, I'm keeping the title right up here at the very top. I'm gonna fold along this line that says GH. Doesn't necessarily have to be perfect, but close enough. I'm gonna put it on the table, and I'm gonna crease it right here just to make sure I have a nice sharp Fold. So ultimately what I have is a finished fold for step one that looks something like this. Step two involves cutting along the two lines that are marked with a one. So I'm going to cut along both lines, cutting through both parts of the sheet of paper. As I cut, I'm going to cut just beyond this red line. That helps when you begin to fold it. So let me cut the other side like so. So I've created a little flap right here that in the next step I'll fold over and back. In the third step you're going to begin to fold your flap that you cut in the previous step forward. And as I fold it forward I'm going to crease it, making a hard crease. Notice I'm folding along this KL line. You can see that my line is not perfect but that's okay. When I fold it forward once I'm going to flip the sheet over and then I'm going to fold it backwards like that, making a hard crease so that ultimately when I flip it over, it still looks much like it looked in the beginning. The fourth step is probably the trickiest and it's the one that trips up most people when they're making the pop-up and that is to push this flap inside of the folded sheet of paper. So I'm going to open it up kind of like this. Now I'm going to push it towards the inside. As I push it towards the inside, I'm going to make a reverse crease so that when you're looking at it, it looks something like this. And then as I flatten it out and fold it, should have something that looks like this. So if I look at it again, you'll notice that I've taken this and folded the flap inside. From this point forward, all the steps that we've done previously will build upon each other. For step number five, I'm basically going to repeat the process of what I did in step two. I've got my step pop-up template, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut along lines two this time, cutting through the entire folded flap, like so. I'm cutting just beyond the two. That's okay. In step five, I cut through both of the lines, creating two little flaps this time. There are two flaps because previously I made that one single flap and that results in two flats now. So in this step, I'm gonna fold both flaps forward, like so, making a hard crease with my finger. Then I'm gonna flip the sheet of paper over and I'm gonna do the same for the back side, so that when I turn it over, I've got the beginnings of what I need for my next step. For step number seven, I'm going to take both of the flaps, and there are now two, and I'm going to push them inside. This is, like the previous step, a little bit tricky, so I'm going to flip the sheet over and kind of open it up. And then with my 
fingers kind of push the flaps towards the inside part. Closing it so that I have something that looks like this. I'm going to make a hard crease and you're ready to go on to the next step. I'm going to combine steps 8, 9, and 10, but essentially they're the same as the previous steps. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut along the lines labeled number 3. Going just beyond the red line. Then I'm going to take the folded pop-up, or the flats that I created, and fold forward increase. I'm going to turn the sheet over, fold forward again, like so, flip it back over, and now I'm going to push all four, and there are now four little flaps inside. I'm going to do that by kind of flipping the sheet of paper over, and with my fingers, working these little four flaps forward. It can be a little more tricky, like so pushing them in and pushing them in. When I finish, I'm gonna crease the sheet of paper and essentially I've made the step pop up. All I have to do now is turn it around and open it up and you have your step pop up. 